Today we're going to be looking at another part of Elementor V4 and that is the DOM. I want to see how the new atomic elements compare to the old V3 elements in terms of Let's just put it plainly, how many containers or how many subcontainers, child containers are there involved in creating these elements compared to the old elements? So let's say a heading from V4 to a heading in V3. You are going to be so surprised and pleasantly surprised, I'd say that, because the CSS, it's minimized. It looks like something that you would code from scratch and that is very good that's going to make our websites load so much faster and this is just the first step in this journey of elementor before so let's get into it and let's have a look all right the first element we're going to be adding as i said is going to be a heading because headings are very uh, heavy so in the old version of v3 okay and let's just add these are the atomic elements. These are the ones that are part of V4, if you didn't know. So I'm going to go to add, first of all, an element form of V3. As I said, the heading, yeah. And then let me just close this and let's go back and add a heading from the atomic elements, which are part, as I said, V4. Let me just actually add it in a container because uh, this way we separate them uh, much better, okay? Let's say V3. So let me just also change the color so i'm gonna go and just make it um let me make it white it doesn't matter and a bit bigger all right so let's uh do the same with the other one and i'm gonna say we frame style um again file color all right and now we have them both in a container yeah nothing else in those containers but the headings okay and now let's go to preview and if you don't know how to get to this part, just simply click right on the page and you can go to inspect. Yeah. And click on inspect and you will have this uh, appear on the side. Now, if you want to inspect a certain element, you go here, select an element in the page to inspect, click on it, and it's going to get this blue color and you can hover over the element that you want to inspect. And now we can see how the V3 heading is constructed versus the V4, okay? So this is V3 and this is V4, okay? So I'm gonna open up the div that is containing basically the parent container of V3. And as you can see, we have basically the parent container, then there's another child container div and another child container div and another child container div. And then we get to the actual heading H2. And so that means that we have one, two, three, four containers constructing this H2 yeah, in V3. Now let's see uh, the H2 from the V4. <laughs> so we have uh, one, two and that's it actually we have two and uh this one is the one that is enclosing all of them the parent container yeah so it closes everything yeah so that means that we have two containers less in v4 now imagine how many headings you add to a page on any given website and how heavy uh, these additional containers were making the dom and I want you to think about V4 this way uh, as a very lightweight version of, of Elementor. And yes, we don't have access to all the elements yet because the team is trying to actually make them as light as possible, obviously to work in any circumstance to be very easy to, you know, add to the page, not to break the page, etc, etc. There are many reasons, okay? Maybe we'll, let's look at other element. Let's see something else. So what else do we have that we could... I don't remember the image how it was constructed, but we could do that as well because let's face it, images, yes, we, we uh, shrink them, we convert them, we do all the things, but usually they are just, you know, heavy. So I'm going to add the V4, the V3 image in here. Yeah, and then let's go to the V4 version and I'm going to add an image here and I'm going to select already an image just to, you know, make it more visible on the page, I guess. <laughs> and one here, select an image. All right. And I'm going to publish and let's have another look. So let's see. I'm going to go to select my image and let's see so we have this we have to hover so we have 
this container. Basically, it, it's constructed from two containers, as I see it here. So it's one container, the parent container, another container that is wrapping around the in each element. So we have one, two, three, four, let me see. No, we have three. So it's one div, two divs, one div, two divs. It's two divs plus the image element, okay? This is in V3. So if I go to the other uh, V4 element, as you can see, uh, let me just go and select it. I think this is the one, yeah. So we have just the image. There's nothing else inside here, yeah? I mean, this is so amazing. So we have the, uh, the V4 element and then we have just the image. No other element wrapping around the image widget, like in this case. This has two elements wrapping it, two divs. So we're saving another two containers here and so on and so forth. And I think this is such a win. We have to look at this kind of things uh, from this perspective because these are the, the things that actually I've seen people being worried about the most when it comes to working with Elementor, that Elementor is adding unnecessary containers and elements to the page, uh, making it heavy. So guys, the solution is here. V4 is going to be so much better. Yes, we have to have patience, but I think it's going to be really worth it. So let me know if you want to look for me to look further into other elements. I think you get the point. What's what and how this work by now. And as I said, I have the feeling that the elements in V4 are basically like writing code from scratch without adding additional and unnecessary DOM elements to the page, hence making it lighter. I think it's amazing. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Element or watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.